State wildlife officials want to continue the ban on the harvest of horseshoe crabs on Delaware Bay beaches this spring to help prevent the loss of shorebirds that feed on the crab eggs. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers reports. An ecosystem may be slowly disappearing along the Delaware Bay. Researchers say the population of migrating shorebirds that feed on horseshoe crab eggs continues to drop. Aerial surveys conducted last spring in the bay show more trouble. The number of red knots fell to a little more than 12,000 birds, the lowest number ever recorded in 25 years. Biologists say the problem now seems to be expanding to other species. The number of sanderlings fell from 16,000 in 2006 to about 8,000 last spring. Biologists say the weight of the birds continues to drop and that the density of the crab eggs the birds feed on has also decreased. Officials say they need to continue the crab harvest ban as well as close beaches to the public during key migration periods. Sadly, there's just no good news right now with respect to the red knot and the species. We're working hard. We're doing everything that mankind can do to try to reverse a, a trend that right now is just not positive. New Jersey and Delaware had eliminated the harvest of horseshoe crabs last year, but state wildlife officials feared the number of female crabs taken along other East Coast states increased. Clearly, each state and the region deals with this issue differently, but quite frankly, we've been disappointed that we haven't gotten broader support from the Atlantic States Council. New Jersey and several environmental groups had asked the U.S. Interior Department to list red knots as endangered, but federal officials rejected that call. The harvest ban must still be approved by the State Fisheries Council. That panel is scheduled to vote on the issue on February 11th. There's a small horseshoe crab fishery that we know we're impacting, but we feel very strongly that we have extremely sound science that indicates that we have to take a multi-species approach here. We have to look at managing the horseshoe crabs in order to save the red knot, which is literally on the brink of extinction. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.